a wheel 25 centimeter in radius, turn in at 120 uh, revolution per minute, increases its frequency to 660 revolution per minute in nine seconds. Find the number of revolutions made at this time. Now, this question is very simple. Quickly, let's bring out our parameters. So first of all, we have a radius, which is 25 centimeter. The right is in meters. Divided by 100, we give us 0 0.25 meters. So for here we have initial, initial angular uh, speed, which is 120 revolution per minute. When we convert this to rad per second, don't forget that one revolution is 2 pi rad. So times this by 2 pi divided by 60, we end up getting um, 4 pi rad per second. Then the final angular uh, speed, which is 660 revolution per minute. We'll do the same thing, times it by 2 pi, divide it by 60. We know, you know, we end up having um, 22 pi rad per second. And also in our previous, uh, uh, you know, uh, worked example, we got the angular, you know, um, we got the angular acceleration. We got that, we got the angular acceleration. So today we are asked to get the number of revol uh, uh, revolutions. So what's simply the no no number of revolutions? The number of revolutions is simply the angular speed. Don't forget the angular speed, which is in rev, will be in revolution, will be in radians, is what we are talking about. So how do we get these number of revolutions? You're going to be looking for this angular speed. We have this, we have this, and now we are looking for this, which is more or less like the, the S, which is the, uh, the linear distance for, you know, linear quantities. So we have our angular acceleration. You can easily get that, you know, you solve for that. You can easily get that using this, using this. And we, you know, when, we, when we input those values into this, we end up getting we end up getting two pi rad per second squared. So now, how do we get this very one here? How do we get this? So let's see. We're going to use this. We're going to use this as average of as average of angular velocity times time, more or less like saying s equal to v plus u over two times time. So what's it going to be? You're going to get that as this equals to what's the final speed? The final speed is going to two pi rad per second plus 4 pi rad per second divided by 2 times time. What's the time? The time is the time is 9 seconds. You're looking for the time that zero, 0 seconds. It's 9 seconds. It's 9 seconds. So we add this together. That will give us 26 pi rad per second divided by 2 times 9 seconds. So 2 year 1, 2 year 13. 13 pi rad per second times 9. That will give us 117 pi rad. That's it here. So 117 pi rad. Is